Welcome back guys, this is Rebuild Episode 2, and today what we are going to do is we are going to attach the turning knuckles to the caster blocks. Now with these Traxxas ones, I personally found these to be pretty difficult myself. So first off, what we are going to need is the stock metal on metal bushings. I do not have bearings yet, but that will be an upgrade soon in the future. So you're going to need one for each side. You'll need to just push it in. These are a little old, so it's going to fight me a little bit. Make sure it's nice and smooth, like so. And I'll turn over, do the same thing on the back side. So you're going to grab another bushing. I'm just going to push it in there, like so. Now since that's done, we're going to do the same on the other side. Now since we have the bushings in, the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to need these little bars, excuse mine is a little bent, with these E-clips. Next thing we want to go and do is mine are labeled. Mine has an R for right, and it's going to face just like this. This side is going to face forward towards the front bumper. Next what you want to do is find the A-arm, or not A-arm, the turn knuckle. You want to just fit it in there and then you're going to want to find your bar with your E-clip and slide it through the hole. Line them up, press down at the same time, make sure you get them leveled and you'll see it slip in like so. And I found out it's easier to have the front of the E-clip facing the side of the turnbuckle like so. And then usually, once you have the bottom lined up, it will slide in there. Mine is a little bent on this side, so it's going to fight me a little extra. But you get the idea. So we're going to do the same on the other side. Now once you have that done, you want to grab your front suspension that we did in... Uh, episode one. Now we're going to want to attach our caster blocks onto the A arms. So we're going to need a steel metal pin like earlier, like how we connected the A arms. And we're going to line it up. Remember the R faces the front. And just slide the pin in there. Like so, you want to grab your flathead screwdriver and just twist on there. You just need to snug it up, don't have to torque it down so you don't need a whole lot. Make sure it moves nice and freely like so. Do the same on the other side. Next what we're going to do is we're going to take our front upper links, which in this model were plastic how you know it's not an XL5 or a VXL and shoulder screws with a little washer so what we're going to do is we're going to take this shoulder screw slide it through the upper link and then we're going to put the washer on the back side just like so and then it falls out <laughs> trying to get better at the camera angles but still difficult when we're just using the same old tablet for now we'll be upgrading in the future once money comes in so once you have your set screw or shoulder screw set up in your link you're going to want to screw it one in into the upper side of your cluster block And I'm going to try to do this on the camera, but it may not be a success for you guys. So you kind of pretty much get the point. We're just going to go ahead and move on. So we're going to do this on both sides. Now once we have your upper links in, see they are in. You want to have them loose enough so there is not any resistance. It does not bind up. It does not stick. Next what we're going to do is we're going to install the screws for the upper steering links. 
Now on my model, I have a longer arm coming off my turn knuckle with two holes. I'm going to use the inner hole for a longer link, just because my links came factory like that, so I'm just going to put it back exactly how they had it. So I already have one installed. As you can see, you want to screw it from the bottom through, so the steering link will slide over it, and there is a... I believe a two or three millimeter nut, this one right here, that will screw right onto the back of it. There will be two for one for each side. Well, you guys get the point of how it goes on there. This is your basic screw. It has a fine thread on it. And we're going to install it on the was that the driver side? Passenger side? I don't know. We're going to install it on the other side just like we have it on the first side over here. Alright guys, we have it installed on both sides. And that is it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for episode 3.